past few years, all over the internet, I've been seeing the same rhetoric displayed all over the place. And that is that many young people especially are feeling lost in the modern world. And this is often portrayed as a negative thing. And many of you watching this might be thinking, well, of course it's a negative thing. I don't know what I want to do with my life. I don't know what career I should go for. I don't know whether I should go off to university, do an apprenticeship, or maybe just start my own business. I don't know what I want to do. How can that be a positive thing? Well, in my opinion, and as the title suggests, there is a beauty to being lost. Because if you are feeling like you are a lost individual, then I wouldn't twist this as a negative thing. Instead, I would look at this as a very positive thing because in my opinion, it means you can sort of become whatever you want to be. Because if you're feeling like a lost individual, then you kind of have nothing to lose. You can start out, you can do pretty much whatever you want as long as you have the means for it. If you feel like you want to start a business, start a business. If you want to feel like you want to travel across the world, travel across the world. If you feel like you want to join an apprenticeship, sign up to that apprenticeship. Let's see if you get it. There is a beauty to being lost because it means you can do absolutely anything. But let's say your first business venture doesn't work out or you don't get that apprenticeship you wanted. What's the big deal? Because you were lost in the first place, you pretty much lost nothing apart from maybe a few hundred pounds or something like that. But you can make that back and then you can just start again. You can keep going until you achieve what you want. Let's take this into a more physical example. Let's say, for example, that you are walking down the field or maybe you're driving down the road or something like that and you've become lost. You don't know which way you came from. You don't remember where you turned. You don't know where you're supposed to go. You're sat now instead everything. You don't know what to do. But you see multiple roads ahead of you. You've got nothing to lose. You might as well just take one and see what happens. And if it's not good, go back and try the other one. And in my opinion, being lost is kind of the only way you will ever realize what you want to do. Because if you always have an idea of what you want to do, you never know about the other things that are possible for you. You never know, okay, maybe there's another benefit to doing this. You can also do what you initially planned for, but maybe you could also do this as a side piece. However, if you're lost, you can try everything at the same time and see which one works best for you. Because remember, while you might feel like you are lost at the moment, by trying multiple things, by traveling across the world, starting a business venture, signing up for an apprenticeship, or doing whatever it is you think might be beneficial to you, your feeling of being lost will not be permanent. It's a temporary problem, but you can solve it very easily by trying multiple things. And that is why, in my opinion, this whole internet rhetoric of being lost is a sad and a depressing thing. It's a bit of a weird way to look at it. In my opinion, looking at it the more optimistic route, looking at it through the inspirational route that, okay, I'm lost, but that's fine because I can try anything I want to. Let's see what happens. Is a much better way to think and a much better way to lead your life. <laughs>